Four, three, two, one. Welcome, folks, to a brand new episode of Smoke Em If You Got Them. This is a very simple show. I'm going to give you the instructions early on so you know what, what we do here. we got a record picked out. We're going to listen to side A and side B. Before we even get to that, you got to roll one and smoke it. Smoke one per side. Don't be weak. This is the time to do it. We're going to focus on the music and listen to some cool ass records chosen very carefully by... The Oracle of Oxford County, Jeremiah Charlton. And the wise person speaking, my partner in crime, G.I. Alamo. The one <sighs> that your mother warned, warned you about. We know this, it's, folks. It's, it's true. It's true. There's shirts about it and everything. So this t- today, uh, the journey we're going on, the band is called T2, the number two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it'll all work out in Boomland. Okay, Which so set- yeah, f- uh, so please find that one and uh, smoke them if you got them, and come back and join us. We're going to talk about it, folks. So uh, again, see you soon. Smoke them if you got them. And we're back. Yes, we are. T two, huh? So, G, how did this one tickle your fancy? All right. We don't discuss albums. Nope. They just get sent. Correct. We talk about them right here with you fine folks, smart, I, handsome audience. I want to know. Jeremiah really wants to know, what does his friend, G, think about this album? I did not enjoy this record. Ooh. Didn't expect that, folks. I I, uh, I did not enjoy this album, and um, th- there's a couple of reasons. All right. Um, it's it's extremely white music, and there's mm. nothing wrong with that in certain bands. But this this was boring to me. Um, so I found myself looking for information about it. Okay. It didn't capture my attention. And then I saw that it's released by Decca Records. Now, Decca Records has made their most of their money with the Rolling Stones and like Abco style recordings, more pop based. And this is what this album is. I mean, it's it's made for radio. It is um it's frilly and it's foofy. And I like frilly and foofy. But this one was uh, this one was a rougher one for me to go through. I, I there's an over the top arrangements of horns and uh, big reverb plates and maybe maybe in another place sonically I would be into it. It just didn't grab my attention. To mm. be perfectly honest with you, so this is surprising to me because this one is definitely to me the most rock album mm. you know that we we've come across right. Rock in terms of what, like, uh, like rocking or like hard rock, rock hard rock, hard rock, like, like, like Deep Purple. Yeah, yeah, it has, it has that. Right, like that's what it reminds me of. Mm, interesting. It's a power. Tr- one's a power trio. Right. And uh, the first track really, I I liked it. I liked the riff. I dug it. Right. Yeah, it's got a it's got a really good riff. The the tracks are fucking long. Dug it sonically, right? Yeah, I like uh, I do like the uh, energy and I like the output and, of them. Another thing that you said, like energy, right? So like to me, yeah, did bring a lot of energy. Now, tons of energy. The negatives, I would say, are it's very blues based rock of its time, right? It's super okay. That's the negative. Yeah, um, I mean, it just it, it. I just couldn't get past. I was like, "Oh, this is uh, this is a band that uh, liked Cream a lot." Um, I like the first song a lot. Mm-hmm. Song two, um, okay. That was the that's the Mister J's uh, JLT. Yeah. Okay. So out of out of all out of that the side uh, number track two. Uh, gave me hope. I almost okay. stopped in track two, like brought me back. All right, and yeah. then and then, uh, the third song, "No More White Horses," mm-hmm. is um the shittiest song by far yeah. in the album. Right, that one was rough. Right, 
Now, here's the funny thing. The guitar solo at the end of it does is, give you another glimmer of hope. Is it it's it's really ballsy, right? Like he really goes for it. Oh yeah. And and the thing is like people will know uh, uh, over time with me as a guitarist, I like like usually unconventional guitar, right? And this yeah. whole album is very conventional guitar. And here's the other point I was, was going to make, uh, and uh, we'll see as we go, go to side two, um, about this is, this is another band that's very, very young. Okay. How, how, how young are these guys? Even younger than, than the last band we talked no. about. The last team. Yes. These are teenagers. Okay. Wow. Teenagers, 18 years old when the album came out. Okay. 17 years old. Mm. So, so, that also gives me like a lot, a lot of leeway, right, with their play as, as their sound, yeah, right? Yeah. And oh, I, I, you know, I judged it uh, thinking this was grown men. The energy, and so like the positive, like you said the energy. I feel that. I feel that youthful yeah. energy, right? Very much so. And the MVP, the, the MVP of this band is the drummer. Yeah. We talked about this our last thing, right? And now this drummer is it, it, the same thing. Last drummer was like so leading te- the parade. Te- technically proficient. Yes, right. This guy has um, has has um, I would say caveman chops. Right. I was like, oh, he's, I'm he's so got, happy. He's you got, said that he's, got he's, he's got, got he's got he's got he's got single stroke rolls. Right. He's got oh, single yeah. stroke rolls, and that's it. But he's he's wailing them and like like and he and he's using everything he's got all over the kit. So and he's the lead singer, the drummer's lead singer of this band. Oh wow. Okay, so the and and the best the, the the best part about this band I heard the coolest story I, I read about is they were playing like the cool the cool club in London and Lennon and Hendrix were both there mm. uh, checking them out. Right? Wow, these high school kids, you know, you gotta come see the, the the kids playing tonight. This band rocking it out, right? Yeah. Well, that that solo that solo, um, which you know, well, I guess we're talking about it now, but. Um, that's all is it is a glimmer of hope for sure so so and, oh, going back to this again folks like i that's that's a very conventional rock solo of its time the, it's, the it's, whole it's, it's, the um, whole album the whole album yes. is very much yep. a stamp of the time uh yep. Yep. you know when, when i when i what i say what i mean by boring is not necessarily just lackluster it's just like it's very traditional for what was Correct. coming out on decca records in that time yep. nothing to really uh write home about but um, knowing these parameters you're, you're putting down now, I, you know, it, yes, there are moments that you go, well, damn, damn, son, these these are these are heavy hitters uh, for how young they are. Yeah. Um, again, I just I think maybe because debut of the time, album, maybe because debut um, album for a power oh, trio, yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool from high schoolers. Really, that's how I think of it, right? On Decca, it's such an interesting, uh, right? And, and uh, so, what's yeah. interesting is they. Um, well, let's listen to side two, folks. Before, before yeah, let's we, let's we, go to the B side. Uh, for to... please, so please, now do not uh, bitch out. Okay, join us on this journey. We always talk about it. Put the phone down, listen to the music, just get into it for a second. Come back, and we'll talk about it together, please. So yeah, you... uh, actually, you know, before we totally go over there and we and we hit the space music, um, I do have to talk real quick about the Anchor FM app, which has been a wonderful thing that we're doing with this podcast jeremiah and i had uh, tried this experiment before with a wrestling podcast and it was a lot harder to do you know the first episode of smoke him if you got him he sounds like he's in a bunker and um just hostage by some mafia somewhere but because of the anchor fm and how we've been able to produce the the, the podcast and the episodes uh for this entire journey has been really painless so uh if you want to go ahead and uh, try to get your stuff out there to people and let them know that you got what it takes. Uh, join us, download the anchor FM podcast app. And in a matter of minutes, you'll have everything you need in there. And I assure you, it'll be the most painless process for somebody that has no experience or lots of experience and very proficient with technology. Anchor.fm app is the way to go. Any of the stores will have it, but if you don't just go to the website, anchor.fm and download the app, follow the instructions. Now, can we go to the B-side, please? Of course we can go to the B-side. So please, folks, smoke them if you got them and join us back here. Okay. 
So we did establish before, uh, please, before, before I jump over this, uh, tell, tell the fine folks out there, the handsome, uh, beautiful crowd listening to us, what album we're listening to. Well, the intelligent listeners already know that it's a T2. It'll all work out in Boomland. I want to go to Boomland. So this is you, a record out on Decca. So check did, it out. yeah, did you uh, 1970 folks it came out 1970 yeah. recorded probably in 69 I would assume. Um, gee, did you like Side Two better than Side One? Um, no. Okay. I liked Side One better. Uh, I missed the over the top arrangement on the second track. I missed it on this side. So and, this was the, um, their epic sidelong track. Yeah, and I, and I think because my attention span was already pretty short, uh, it asked a lot of me as a listener, and I wasn't really ready for it. But um, you know, so I'm way more attracted to side A. Sonically speaking, I like it a lot more. Except I like for that I like I like uh, side A better. Also, nice. Um, this one, how I describe it is they basically. It, it's it's really and I, and I mean this in the best way possible. They 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 did as best as they could, <laughs> right? Like, like, like they tried to write. They, about, I don't feel no, bad about no. not really being into this album because I, I, no. I think in a way you do feel that too. No, well, no, I like it more than you do. Yeah, right. Um, but you do get the whole. I played. Like, yeah. I played. I played. Well, I played guitar to this this song just for fun. I was listening to it. Hilarious. And it's and it's um, it's a lot of like basic chords, right? A lot like, yeah, it's very traditional. And it's it's just their 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 their, their stab at a, a big long song, right? Yeah. And uh, slow drip, slow drip. And again, not bad, but I guess as good as they could do. Right? I mean, like, it's like not talent like, show at the gymnasium, but it's not that far removed. Um, I would say it was, it was, it was a fail <laughs> overall that the side that I told you we weren't going to lie to you. That's just how it goes. Some things are great and some things aren't. I like song track one, in. track one's going on my playlist. I love track one. Uh, I like it. track two, track two. I, if, I, I, if, if I have, and, if I have to showcase one song up in this band, I would showcase track two. And I love saying controversial things to upset people. And, I know. Uh, and, you and, really? And Kazappa, Kazappa didn't play the complex parts. Yeah. Well, we talked about. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's. Yeah. Yeah. Can't even go to that the Prague Rock. Hurts me. I can't even go to the Prague Rock convention anymore, guys. Don't you dare show your face. So. Go ahead. So um, that solo on No More White Horses, which again is a shit song. Um, yeah. But the guitars at the end, he really goes for it. And the time, the, this is 1970. Now, I'm taking out Jimi Hendrix. It's not fair, okay? Because Jimi Hendrix, yes, has many solos that are better and more going for it than that, okay? Mm-hmm. Anybody, just give me 10 rock solos that you think top that one mm. be- before it's time period. G- give it to me. Just give it to me, mm. and uh, I'll, I'll crown you the king. Man, open think, challenges. I don't think you can do it. I don't everywhere. Think you can do it. Episode uh-huh. five, episode six, Smoke of Vigana's coming strong. Strong. So the here's a positive that I think that we will agree on with this. Tell me you had at least like the album cover. I did like the album cover. This was uh this was the one time that I did think about your statement. You know, fuck you for making <laughs> music. <laughs> music. Oh. It applies really well. I just, you know, oh here's man, here's the deal, man. We went, we've been building, we've been building a, a really successful pyramid of, of really great art, and I thought this is this is the spot where you go to the concession stand. To be perfectly honest with you, this one you, get, you can get one of these for like 150 euros. Okay, send it to me. That's cool. You know, send me a picture of it. I, I don't want to listen to it, but it, that's cool. Um, <laughs> now and here, here's the tough funny thing is, is I bet you that um, a lot of people are going to say this is their favorite of all the it, it, the albums we listen to. I bet you. I bet you there's there's going to be one in the crowd. Well, I'm sure there's one in the crowd, but you can't save them all. No, you no, can't save no, them all. no, no. I'm not going to save them all. Yeah. I'm not going to no. save them all. 
the hippest guy is still listening to uh, Toth scribe over and over and over again Oof. on repeat. That, 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 room, is, yeah. that is a, that is a peak, and and uh, you know what? I'm uh, I'm interested in keeping on going. I'm glad we uh, get to put this one back on the sleeve and back on the shelf, and uh, I'll never regain my time back. But that's what smoking big is about, and and I'm down with that. So hopefully you enjoyed it more than uh, G did. Yeah, you at least know? I'm honest about it, and I'm the one holding the stick. So that's what's up. That's right, folks. Tomorrow we'll come back at you. With some more, uh, uh, something you probably don't know about, another band. We're going to always just leave it there. Uh, I want to give G a challenge for tomorrow. I want him to think of the three best progressive rock albums to come out of South America. Oh, here we go, folks. That's his, that's here his, that, we that, go. That, it's a little challenge for him tomorrow. Oh, I, I can't you wait. That. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that uh, I'm doing so well that I get my own segment. That, that makes me excited. Um, I'm going to bring it tomorrow. Uh, I mean, I bring it every time, but I'm just going to blow it off tomorrow. So smoke them. If you got them, it's what's up. See you Stay tomorrow, with folks. us. See you tomorrow. Bye.